Welcome all to Chasing Tents. My name is Abby. Thank you so much for joining me in this lovely, beautiful Croft circuit. I'm sitting on the grounds away from all the hustle and bustle behind me, which is the lovely paddock. So the journey started quite late in the evening on Thursday. If you watched the previous video, I smashed my rear windscreen at Cadwell Park, completely my Ford toolbox was sticking out and I closed it and the uh, rear screen smashed in a, in a billion pieces. But luckily, um, insurance sorted that out just before I was leaving for uh, Croft. And massive thank you to the Motorcycle Wizards. Mark uh, came around uh, two hours before I was leaving to not only fit a rear SC3, uh, a used SC3, but in a, in a very good condition and, and a service of the bike as well, just before the race. So that went well. I reached there about 11 o'clock in the night. Massive thank you to Ash, who's a fellow racer. He kind of accommodated me in the night time because it was too late to unload. So. Uh, you know, I just wanted to throw a massive thank you to him. So left the trailer here. So I left the track around 11.30 in the night and went to my guest home or guest house. And um, I, I just booked it randomly and it was so kind of spooky. I'm actually going to show you the video because I recorded a video of entering. Even the door noise was so spooky. So watch this video and I'll come back in a sec. So that was my board for the for the night, and uh, I had some uh, some uh, some olives and hummus for dinner, and then uh, I just had a um, I, I slept around midnight and woke up around 6:30. Massive truck noise outside. I think it's on the main road, so that woke me up around 6:30. In a way, good thing. I, I came to the track around 7:30. So um, all all was well, you know. There was um, you know noise testing, 107 decibels here. It was, it's funny how uh, four days ago at Cadwell Park I was 104 decibels and here 107 decibels. It is one of those things. So now the real thing happened. So the team was here in the morning. Uh, Jamie uh, Harris is racing with us. Jimmy Work and myself, three guys racing in the endurance race uh, tomorrow. Um, so went out for the first session. Everything was perfect. I was well organized. Everything was fantastic. Come back, massive noise coming from the back. And I just look 
and massive fire. Fire about this big in the rear caliper. For some reason, I don't know why, the rear caliper was catching the brake disc. And I carry a very lightweight big, uh, brake disc as well. So uh, I don't know, I have no idea why that happened. I don't use the rear brake at all unless um, I'm at Cadwell Park for the, for the wheelie. I don't know, I mean, I really had a, a fantastic time at Cadwell Park four days ago. Massive wheelies, brilliant day, really nice. So I'm just trying to see what happened there. Was there a mistake? Why? I mean, not a mistake. I mean, did the pads uh, with all those wheelies, and at one point, both my wheels were up in the air. So did that disrupt the pads at the back or what happened? I have no idea, but it caught fire. Unfortunately, um, uh, the seals of the, uh, the rear caliper was gone. So because it was a test day, we could run the bike without the rear pads. So somehow we got it sorted. You know, massive thank you for to John Copeland from Bikers World for his advice and my team as well who dismantled everything and, and got me going. Luckily, the wire, which the traction control or the electronic sensor wire uh, didn't get melted. It started to get melted, but it was OK. Uh, so I have no problems with my electronics, traction control and everything. So. Uh, Everything is fine. Bear with me, guys. I just wanted to portray everything and, 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 uh, and stuff. Now, going back to the Cadwell Park, after having those amazing massive wheelies, um, I come back home and I noticed a bit of a leak from the front left fork. So contacted uh, SW Suspension, Sonny, who is quite uh, famous or from a lot of racing uh, fraternity uh, know him uh, from British Superbikes and stuff like that. So he is now, at the moment, in the background sorting my he's servicing the front and the rear uh, suspension so um, suspension should be serviced every year if you were doing a lot of track days I hadn't had a service for about two years uh, but you know so um, I think it wasn't the Cadwell jumps it were or, or, or wheelies it was just time to get his service so he's gonna sort that out tomorrow my good friend Gogo is coming uh, with the new uh, not new but like replacement caliper uh, with uh, with some brake, I mean, I've, I've got the brake pads and the brake fluid from here. So yeah, so that will be tomorrow race. In terms of today as a test day, uh, unfortunately only had one session in the morning, then the bike caught on fire and there was people there with two litres bottle of water. And you know what, everyone does have fire extinguisher, but bo bottles were, were there straight away. And they, as soon as they poured water on it, massive steam, huge amount of steam. So it was really hot and the brake pads had basically kind of warped massively you know so uh, really strange why that happened no idea why so uh, in terms of the test day only had one session in the morning uh, then three more sessions went and i just couldn't do anything because my bike was uh, having an issue but during lunchtime we decided no pads let's just give it a go without pads i'm not going to use the rear back brakes anyways so last three sessions i went from a one minute Started at 1 minute 44, first session, you know, don't know this track, never been here, didn't even see the Mike Spike Edwards video, you know, he, the coaching video of the track, gonna see that tonight, didn't get time. So um, from a 1 minute 44, ended up on a 1 minute 34 in the last session, huge amount of wins. The reason I'm sitting in a secluded corner, even though I've got this cat, Mike, it's called a cat fluff, um, it's so windy, it's unreal. The front wheel was lifting on aggressive turn-ins. So 1 minute 34, I'm okay with that, you know, but uh, yeah, for three sessions um, ever on this racetrack, I'll take that. Uh, and um, yeah, tomorrow is race day. So uh, I'll leave you with some fantastic footage of this lovely track. <laughs> Welcome back guys, I thought I'd record a, a little bit more before the next day. Normally at this time of the evening we would do a, a track walk, uh, but I, I'm not going to do that. Number one, I'm, I'm mentally a bit exhausted after the fire and everything. I was a bit down, so mentally I'm, a, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not absolutely fine in terms of the tracks and stuff like that, but I'm just, I just feel a bit exhausted. What I will do though, I actually had the pleasure of meeting Mike Spike Edwards. If you remember, I did a video um, on Mallory Park where Mike coached me and I went from a one minute 
to a 57.8 or something like that. So gain 2.2 seconds, um, you know, from his video, um, from his coaching, I should say. So, um, so basically, what I really want to do is go back to the guest house, my spooky guest house, which I showed you earlier. And what I really want to do is, um, is watch his coaching video. Now, Mike does detailed coaching videos on tracks. You pay, I think, 25 pounds for them or 30 pounds on Vimeo. And, you know, that I think probably, I know track, track walks are fantastic, but I think that would be really, really good uh, in terms of um, me kind of learning the track. I mean, today was a great day. I didn't even know the proper layout of the track. But um, going back to the guest house and learning the track theoretically and putting that to practice tomorrow in qualifying, that would be great. Hopefully we won't have any bike issues and scrutineering won't have any problems. By the way, I just wanted to show you these amazing motorhomes we've got, even though Croft, and I like that building at the back, if you can see, that's a very historic building. Croft is not a, I mean, the weather is fantastic. However, you can see the trees and stuff. It is very, very windy, very, very windy. I mean, it is, it is a, a quite an old, old circuit, Croft, um, but I think they don't have a humongous budget, but they have two Porsches. They have two Porsches, which are the safety cars. So, uh, yeah. Woo! so uh, they got, they got two Porsches. People always want to be on uh, on YouTube and stuff. They always say, uh, do a thumbs up, which is nice. I would love to know the name of the guy so I could do a shout out. But uh, but yeah, I love that old historic building. There's something about grand designs about that building because you've got a, a bit of a modern outlook and then you've got that old clock at the top. Let me focus again. Really love that building. So to have that, uh, in terms of the pits here, the pits, uh, sorry, the garage, there are not too many garages. Hence, we are actually uh, based, uh, he actually does good burgers, loads of people were saying. Anyways, so we are, I don't know if it's because we are a small, small team or something, but we got some quick guys in there though. We are basing these marquees and there's a massive generator behind that. And it's a very quiet generator because it's not bothering anyone uh, in terms of the sound. Uh, but we are basing the marquees, but it's pretty good. You know, if I can show you inside the marquee, these are the boys from the In The Doghouse team and that's uh, us there. So that's two bikes of Jamie and Jimmy Kawasaki. My bike is, uh, is getting the suspension sorted. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, while it's quiet, why don't we uh, have a look on the track this side. Lovely old straight, very bumpy track. Weather is fantastic. Coming to north and uh, having weather like this is amazing. However, it, the winds are just unreal, especially at certain crucial corners where you really want change of direction and stuff. But you know, the caravans and the motorhomes go as far as the eye can see, honestly. That first turn, you're approaching so fast, trail breaking, massive bump, most corners, and you go all the way there past that grass, all the way there. Most corners, unfortunately, ha have, uh, oh, there's moon there, if, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you know, most corners, unfortunately, has a bump in the middle, which is really off-putting, but you get used to it. So uh, with today's suspension setup, uh, hopefully we can uh, get that sorted. Look at that, how quiet and wonderful it is. I'm sure people are having some beers. I'm not gonna have any beer at all today. I don't wanna be dehydrated tomorrow. I've been having some dehydration issues for the last few days, my fault completely. But yeah, these are our marquees, you know, and uh, maybe the bigger teams are in the garages or maybe it was first come first serve basis. I don't know why, can't give you an exact reason. But yeah, this is, look at that. As far as you can see, you've got uh, Mercedes sprinters and, and caravans and stuff like that. So, okay, so I'm just gonna leave the camera here and uh, show you some more footage of the track. <laughs> 